TV. And uh, you know that without the plants, we think that the world would not look so beautiful and fragrant. But they are the primary producer of food that we need. And if we lose this plant, we will lose our food and no more life on this earth. The food that is produced here, it gives rise to different cultures, food habits. And some part of the world, some food is produced and some only others. So if Japanese, they eat a different type of rice, and Pakistani we put a non-sticky rice. If we are producing non-sticky rice, we cannot export to Japan. So the trade and all many things depend on what we produce and what we consume. So the trade of the quality of the what it is going to be produced depends on the genes which reside in the chromosomes and that gives rise to different diversity that we can see. A single gene can make a great difference. The green revolution that we speak about was only a single base pair change that has been reported and it got a revolution. So every single gene is very important and we need to conserve this for food security. Because these materials come in as germ plasm, they are used by the breeders and then the crop is improved and that gets a list of varieties and that goes to the farmers that produce the seed. So there are two aspects. One is with the breeders and the genetic resources they have and the material that is with the farmers that they are using for production. So germ plasm is for, used for crop improvement. It is with the PGR, breeders and researchers and in the gene bank. And germ plasm for production is with, with the companies, farmers. So diversity matters. If we have a single species or single variety and if it is infected with a disease like in Pakistan, the banana bunch top virus, 90% of the crop was eliminated. But if we had diversity that now we have four different varieties going, if one is infected with some disease or some pest, we can survive on the other three. So we need to have diversity. Similarly, Pakistan is fifth for the climate change affecting and not only the uh, fields where the power is growing, even the institutes, they are being devastated and losing their total uh, material. So the only living planet can only sustain and it has been thought and the nation has given this uh, sustainable development goals. And most of the important is zero hunger, the food, the plants on land and in water, all the genetic resource. So most of these are affected if we lose the genetic diversity. So there is one surah in Quran, uh, Surah Quraysh. Uh, it reflects on the tradition of Quraysh as a bounty or as a gift that they can travel from one place to another. And the God says that due to this very thing, you should be thankful to the God that you can travel. See, we never thought about that in this context much until we had this COVID-19 we have seen here. And we were restricted in terms of the whole globe. The World Economic Forum finds that all the sustainable development goals since 15 has gone to uh, reverse. So it has highly impacted all the uh, economy. The bottlenecks that was created was the availability of inputs to the farming, notably labor for harvesting and fruits and vegetables, shutdown of the processing plants, and ongoing disruption of freights, flights and ships, all this stuff. So the perishable things were most affected by that. So it was difficult to overcome these things on a very short period of time and it was a good uh, risk for them. So those countries who were doing export for a very, a very short time, they were lost completely. For example, in Poland, in Kenya, they were producing flowers and that was their only economy. So they had uh, lost for 8.5 billion flower trade was 
on the brain. So, other methods were adopted that the transportation to the consumer was affected very greatly. So, you can see on the Google search, it was online, availability was checked and got the peak in April. So, many mushrooming of these companies emerged for online supplying and delivery of fruits and vegetables and grocery items. It was a boom and from 3.6 trillion dollar, it doubled the uh, impact uh, on this economy. So, other things to come up with how to deliver the role of growth in agriculture is being exploited not only for data and for managing and for transportation of goods. Similarly, people are thinking that they should produce the food where it is near to their consumer. So vertical farming and urban farming is a concept already uh, developed, but now it is flourishing at a very high speed. The role of robotics in agriculture is being sought not only for harvesting, also for bagging and processing because of the labor shortage that has happened due to the COVID. So the germplasm that we preserve is very important. And for conservation, we have the strategies for ex situ conservation and in situ. So we have gene bank that we maintain the germplasm and feed gene banks and in vitro. So we need to have developed more gene banks at national level and those countries that do not have the gene banks, they should make policy and make their gene banks so that they can conserve. So we are having a project with Comstack and working with YC countries for that. Hopefully it will mature. So in Pakistan, we are keeping the material at 20, for 25 years, 50 years and 100 years at different temperatures and storage conditions. For the farmers, we need to have the community seed banks, we are lagging in that. We don't have community seed bank in Pakistan and the government should take some steps so that they can secure the seed for two period cultivation and maintain all the diversity before it is replenished. And we can have the reward of production with that and access to the seed to the farmer. And we should not rely on hybrid seed import totally because it is a matter of disaster in such conditions like COVID. So the biggest risk of food security is not with food availability because food was being produced in the country land, countryside in the farm, but it was the excess. So we have to develop some material methods so that the excess is made more uh, available. So uh, way forward is that we should find an old delivery system online shopping, drones and internet of things, robotics, vertical and urban farming, gene banks for safe and safety duplication locally. Now there is only one safety duplicate gene bank in Norway, the Salvat Global Seed Warehouse, where all the world is securing their safety duplication. So we should think about that to develop locally our safety duplication and the community seed bank. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Siddiqui. You have uh, you know, saved us some time. We are grateful.